are you? I'm Rafine, the curator of the biological specimen wing here. Please, follow me. I'll take you to the girl you seek. Wait. Why would someone like you cooperate with us? Because I deemed you formidable. Formidable? Not a single one of the researchers in this division are working here of their own accord, including me. We've had enough. We simply can't involve those two any longer. The issue, however, is that releasing them solves nothing. They will continue to be sought out by one party or another. They must be protected from both Kronos and the Federation. Come this way, please. This could be a trap. Stay vigilant. Animals are all corrupted. So you are the ones who did this. Yes, as one aspect of our research. Why are there security drones here? They aren't authorized to patrol this section. It's time to fight fire with fire. Attack!
Our destination's beyond the store. Let's do this. It's all thanks to you, Elia. <laughs> Look! General Alma! It's Faria! It's Faria! General Alma, Director. Is it safe to assume this is all going according to plan for you? <laughs> I must say, I did not expect you to turn traitor on us, Rafine. How unfortunate. Get back, ma'am. Your life is in danger. <sighs> I see you took Relia from us, as I knew you would. Otherwise, you'd hardly be worthy of the Kenny name. Why don't I take Faria as well? Such a loud bark for a small runt. I am Thoris. The one and only director of this fine laboratory. Thanks to your tireless efforts, I have collected some truly superlative data. 
It somehow escaped me that activating space-time symbology catalyzes the release of certain hormones. But you, Fidel was it, kindly brought it to my attention. All this was for space-time symbology? And brought it to your attention? What's that mean? In other words, they knew full well that we'd save Relia from that Kronos battleship. Not only that, they wanted us to do it. Then, during that last fight, they monitored Relia's biological responses closely. Thus, they effectively measured certain changes that occur when she employs symbology. Very keen of you to grasp the situation. You're saying you used a whole ship's crew as bait for us? It has all worked out as I planned. We only possess two units at the moment. But once we are able to mass produce them, the information we collected from your endeavors with her will certainly be useful to our cause. Mass produce? You use this place to craft endless numbers of people? Do you even understand what life is? <laughs> of all the ludicrous. <laughs> May we all meet again in the near future. Hand over Feria! If we're gonna go after General Alma, we'll need our ship. Let's hurry. Mom! Dad! What was that? Really, uh, thank heavens you're alive and well. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kristoff, one of the researchers here. Are you really his dad? Well, her father figure. Now that you've shown yourself, I take it we can expect some answers vis-a-vis -vis this place? Our symbometric technology far eclipses that of the Federation's. As part of that, the research we conducted here was on the ultimate script. Symbols that can physically manipulate the fabric of space and time. Space-time symbols. As I'm sure you are well aware, the Pan-Galactic Federation appeared before Kronos 16 years ago by the Space Day calendar. In order to combat their overwhelming military might, we embarked upon large-scale research to test the feasibility of using space-time symbols to turn life forms into weapons. Then, in Space Date 526, we were coerced by the Federation into approving the CFNZ. Coerced? I don't think so. In order to preserve the peace between our organizations, we had to establish mutually agreed-upon terms before approving it. As a universal power, you can rationalize it that way. As the weaker party, though, we had no choice but to submit to those terms. We manufactured countless test subjects, but only succeeded at applying symbols to two of them, Relia and Feria. Those poor things. The military hawks quickly latched their talons onto exploiting these space-time symboforms. They set up facilities here, on Fakrete, and forced us to modify the local fauna. The next step was to release those symboforms into the wild. Up until that point, we had conducted our research clandestinely. Then, we received an order from them to pit our subjects against the natives for the sake of gathering data. They told us all this was imperative in order to defend ourselves against the Federation. So, in other words, you're saying everything that transpired here is the Federation's fault? Only that it was the impetus. We simply wanted to conduct our research in peace. Don't make me laugh. Treating a planet's population like lab rats is hardly peaceful. I know. It was difficult for us, too. We couldn't expose Relia to this travesty any longer, so we helped her escape aboard a shuttle. So, the metal thing that fell on the Dakov footpath was your shuttle? It was, indeed. Sadly, Thoris was apprised of our plan and had the thing shot down once it launched. Now, in order to unleash Feria's full potential, they plan on using the data they collected from the trials you've overcome with Relia. It seems that the Federation's appearance here has put General Alma on edge. I apologize for the impertinence of this request, but please, free Relia and Feria from their fate as instruments of war.
With this card, you should be able to enter an edifice known on this planet as the Cygna Silica. Cygna Silica? Once you trek its hallowed halls and reach the shrine within its deepest recesses, you will understand why we chose this planet as our laboratory. Do you have any idea where General Alma might have gone? I see. Well, I appreciate the other info. Let's move out. Relia. It's time to say goodbye, Relia. Huh? I'm afraid we can't go with you, honey. Why not? <sighs> I get it. <sighs> now that the Federation knows of this facility, it won't be long before it's destroyed. There is nothing more we can do on our end. Take good care of Relia and Faria for us. Mom. Dad. Farewell, my dear Relia. Relia! And, prepare us for transport. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs>